This small town has been lit by public power now for 65 years. But on this humid summer night, only the sky gave a glow to Goldendale, Washington. That's because Bonneville Power Administration crews worked all night on an important upgrade. Teams had just six hours to complete the work. Which the uh, replacement of two switches and the 16 poles was done within the two week period of time. Which included removal and installation of two new terminal spans into BPA's Goldendale substation to support two new 115 kilovolt switches. With the new B407 disconnect, um, I can operate that disconnect without any restrictions or curtailments to the Goldendale Energy Center or the Linden Wind. The new disconnect switch reduces the risk of curtailing the output of power generators in the area while crews are doing maintenance or if there's an outage from lightning or storms. Plus the switch is now closer to the substation, which means faster switching times and allows for hotline maintenance or working the line when it's energized, which also saves time. BPA lineman Foreman 3 Scott Williams saw a window for efficiency. When uh, design came to me about the switch, I said, well, this would be the opportunity to go ahead and repair the 24 mile of the Chenoweth Goldendale, which entailed replacing 16 poles and then adding in the E. Klaus switch here. The original configuration of the line was built in 1948 and had reached the end of its service life. And it was its primary purpose is to supply the rural communities with uh, the power. In fact, half of Klickitat PUD's electricity source is from BPA. Uh, which is 50% of the Klickitat County PUD's revenue. The crews came from Ellensburg, the Dalles, Big Eddie Night Sub Maintenance, and the Dalles Big Eddie Operations. My hat's off to the guys here working. This is the second midnight outage that we've been working uh, long hours on the job for two weeks, and uh, this here is the end of it. And it's the start of a new era with improved system reliability. We need our, our people, our skilled people to do the job, especially here at night with those uh, trying hours in the middle of the night to get these projects done safely and efficiently and effectively takes good planning and good, good commitment from our, our BPA folks. <laughs>